Welcome to video 10 on Flight Sim Navigation. In this video we will have a look how we can fly to or away from a VOR. VOR is a radio beacon, the letters stand for Very High Frequency Omni Bearing Range or radio. And it's an antenna that sends out two signals. One is a reference signal, probably transmitted here by this center antenna. And the second signal has a, a changed phase depending on the angle of radiation. And those are these antennas here in the circle. The uh, equipment in our airplane detects those two signals and then can find out the phase shift and via that it knows on what radial our plane is currently. That has nothing to do by the way with our heading. We can have any heading and still be on that same radial. In this example it is radio 315 that we are on. To navigate with the VOR we first have to tune its frequency in one of our navigation radios. And the frequencies can be found on the aeronautical maps. And then we can use this knob to tune the frequency and once we are done we press this button and that transfers the tuned frequency into the active field. And then these instruments listen to that particular beacon. This instrument is called a course deviation indicator. How it works is we rotate this bearing selector knob and that rotates this scale. We do that until the needle is exactly vertical and that means we have found the radial we currently are on. Well, at least uh, it also has this to and from indicator and there can be two situations actually. Uh, like in this picture, we are flying over here. Uh, if we turn our bearing selector uh, and we, if we tune it to 315, we will see that the needle is vertical. Uh, but if we would tune it to 135, the needle would also be vertical. And the only difference is the to or from indicator. If we are on 315, it will tell us the from indicator. If we are on 135, it will give us the to indicator. Let's do an example. Here we are flying in a certain direction. And here is a V. OR that we tuned in our radio. I now rotate the OBS button uh, because my goal is to fly towards this VOR. So I rotate the button until I see a vertical needle and a two indicator. In that case I read out the bearing over here which in this uh, example is 27. And that means a bearing of 27 will bring me straight to the VOR. That's all there is to it. Just rotate the button, needle vertical, watch for the 2 indicator, and then you read out your bearing. And then of course we can change our heading, which I just did. I'm now flying on a heading of 27, which means I'm flying straight to this VOR. Uh, and the needle is straight and the bearing here is 27, so everything is OK. Uh, suppose I am drifting away by wind or bad steering, then uh, yeah, I will get off this uh, current radial of 27 and the needle will show that, even with a quite high sensitivity. Every dot on this uh, scale is 2 uh, degrees uh, off. In this example I'm 4 degrees off, so I'm 2 dots away from the center. Quite sensitive and all I need to do now is make a little correction to the needle. So in this case uh, the needle is to the right, which means I have to fly to the right to get back. Well, we can see here that that is correct. Suppose I want to fly away from a VOR. Well, same procedure. I first rotate my uh, OBS knob until the needle is vertical and 
the to from flag says from. And then I read out the bearing that I need, uh, in this case 207. I can now change my heading to 207 and I will fly away from this VOR. Well, let's do some examples uh, while flying. Here we are. And uh, suppose I like to fly towards the VOR Antwerpen, which has the frequency of 113.5. Well, then uh, I tune that frequency here in the radio, and I already pressed the active button. And now we are going to find the bearing towards that uh, VOR and we are going to do that simply by rotating the uh, OBS until the needle goes vertical. Well, here it is. It is uh, vertical, at least more or less. Yeah, right now it is vertical. But I have a from indicator. That's not what I want. I want to fly to this VOR, which means I have to rotate 180 degrees around and then we will have another vertical needle but this time with a two indication so yeah there the needle comes and now i can be quite accurate as accurate as possible and we have a two indicator and the reading says two four five right a bearing of 245 will bring me to this VOR. And let's just uh, do that. Uh, I'm going to turn my plane on a 245. And now, well, let's look out of the window and see what happens. And look at the needle. It, it doesn't move much. It is independent of my heading, but it moves a little. Yeah, that's because I'm on the move. So in the meantime, during my turn, uh, I got drifted away a little bit to another uh, radial. Uh, but we can uh, quickly find that radial. And that radial is the 240. Well, let's me, let me correct my heading. Uh, till I'm flying 240 and then we will uh, be well that is close enough and let's have a look on the map to see if we succeeded here is the airplane the direction is uh, right straight to this VOR Antwerpen we did a good job Let's do an example of flying away from a VOR. Uh, let's take this Bruno VOR over here. It has a frequency of 110.6. And I want to fly away from it. Right, let's uh, tune that frequency. And I already did that, so I only have to press this activate button yeah uh, it's now listening to 110.6 of course we can also uh, have that enough uh, uh, send out a morse code so let's do that and see if uh, that is the correct one okay what do we need to do well i have to turn the obs until the needle goes straight and i have a from indicator so let's just figure that out. Well, now my needle is straight and I have a from indicator and I can read out my bearing, which is three, well, almost 320. Let's fly to 320 and then see what happens. During my turn, most probably uh, I'm uh, yeah, changing a radial a little bit. But that is not a big problem, we can correct for that later. Uh, let's just finalize the turn first and then see what correction we need to make. Yeah, we are almost there. Uh, yeah, I think we are going to level out. Well, I can even see uh, an airport over there, but that was a coincidence. <laughs> 
Uh, right, the needle is a little bit to the right, so we make a little correction and go a little to the right, and that means we are going to intercept that uh, bearing of that uh, radial of 320. Let's first look at the map. Uh, did we do a good job? Well, here's my airplane. It's pointing in that direction, and that is exactly the opposite direction of the VOR. So this looks quite good. It's all really, really, really simple. Uh, the first step is tune the radio. The next step is find the uh, radial we are on. That means the needle is vertical, and uh, then see if our to from indicator is the correct one and then fly that heading. Th those are the three steps. Well, we can see that uh, with my correction the needle is slowly crawling to zero and then I can change my correction back to 320 and we will be perfect. Well, this was uh, flying to or from a VOR. Next video we are going to try intercept a certain bearing to a VOR.